Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm super excited to be trying out some new milk makeup products. As you guys can tell by the title, I've tried two products, their Kush Mascara and their Cooling Water Stick. It was okay, it's like not for me, but I like its idea and the Kush Mascara I absolutely love. Highly recommend. I follow them on social media and when I see their tutorials, they make applying makeup look so easy and it's so simple, which I love what they stand for and how they try to send that message to their consumers. So I did get this PR package sent to me actually yesterday and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta film with it because there are some new products in here that I absolutely wanna try, been wanting to buy and try and thankfully they were sent to me. So thank you Milk Makeup. This video is not sponsored. You guys know I love doing videos like this and sharing the word about new products and possibly a new brand if you've never tried the brand. If you guys are like wondering like about my hair, I was Kylie Jenner inspired by her 21st birthday. Loved her whole birthday look and the hair inspired me and trust me the blonde inspired me but I'm not going back to blonde but I put my extensions in sleeked it cute denim our package is actually pretty cool I've never seen anything like it so it's this big box of course in story won't get this full thing but I just thought I would share it so it says blur BYOB bring your own blur bring your own bottle there are two different blur sticks. I've never tried their blur sticks or any other type of stick besides the cooling water. As you guys can see here, there are two blur stick primers. One is a matte primer and the other one is a luminous blur stick matte primer, which is pretty interesting to be matte and luminous, but I guess we'll see. I have them right here and these retail for $36. A silicone free matte primer stick that glides on translucent to blur imperfections and create a smooth matte finish, silicone free primes and mattifies and blurs pores with blurring microspheres. So for today's look, I'm gonna go in with the Luminous Blur Stick and I find this one pretty intriguing because it is a matte stick, but it's luminous. If you guys know me, you guys know I always complain about being oily. I hate being oily, but I love a dewy finish. So me trying to find a happy medium between the two is pretty challenging, but maybe this can change it up for me. Just looking at it here, it definitely has like a luminous finish. That's just the natural window lighting hitting it. Why are you not focusing? So making sure when I do my makeup, having a primer that will blur out those pores and hide them from the world is definitely key. So I like that this pretty much does everything in one. I like this idea of a stick. So it definitely has like the luminous effect, like the glow factor. So last night I made sure that I exfoliated and really deep cleanse my skin so I wasn't really gonna worry about texture today. So all in all right now, I love the luminous finish. You can definitely tell, and I'm sure with the matte one, it's not gonna have any shine, but with the luminous one, you can see slight glow. It's not like an intense, like highlighted look. As far as like blurring out, it slightly did it. I can still see some pores. It's actually very smooth. And usually with matte primers, they tend to dry down just a little bit more and sometimes can catch onto the skin. So next I'm gonna go in with their matte foundation, which is the Blur Liquid. As you guys can see, they sent four different shades and I'm just gonna go in and swatch them. So I feel as though this foundation has been around for a little bit. They just decided to add a few more shades. I believe it's eight more shades. Leaves a modern matte finish with a serum like feel, which is great because I like matte foundation because I'm oily, but I hate when it's so drying. It says shake to activate blurring microspheres. One to two drops is all you need. So this is a squeeze foundation, which I actually do like, but sometimes I do like pumping out foundation. Go in and swatch it. Oh, there you go. Quick brush and just swatch it down like that. So the next shade that they gave me was golden sand. Oh, fucker. Whatever. Medium golden sand. The next one is golden honey. And last but not least, this one is honey. I thought I was recording and your bitch was not recording. I applied foundation and all, like talking to myself for a good like six minutes and i looked up and i didn't see the recording thing on my screen so rerun so when i thought i was recording i was saying i'm gonna go in with the shade honey which is darker than golden honey we're gonna do two drops i wish i would have gotten some shades up but i'm thankful that they sent me the package in general and they never asked for my shades to begin with so how would they know but they did a pretty good job just dab a little bit and do some dots I guess I'm just gonna 
it's a little light so looking at it it's definitely full coverage if you do like a light to medium like more skin looking like your natural skin like showing through i would definitely do like a half a drop or like around like a pea size and work your way around the perimeters of your face so I'm kind of getting impatient with using my fingers because I have makeup on prior. I just, and with nails, it's, yeah. So I'm going to take my Luxie 504, that product in, and blend it all out. As you guys can see, blur foundation on this side. I did use my fingers, wasn't really liking it, so I went into a brush. It kind of just pressed and buffed it into the skin. So with this side, I'm going to go in with a sponge. So definitely the sponge creates like more of like a sheer finish. I feel like the dampness of the sponge kind of separates the foundation a little bit. With a buffing brush, I feel like if you do pressing motions, it'll build that coverage, but really press the foundation into the skin. And then maybe afterwards, if you want to go back in with the sponge, you can definitely do so. I'm gonna move on to concealer. And for this, they sent me three different shades, which are pretty reasonable shades. They sent me vanilla light and light medium which i definitely feel like i'm going to use light medium as you guys can see squeezy tube wand applicator medium to full coverage hydrates and calms with blue lotus and chamomile don't know what blue lotus is flexes without creasing or caking we'll see Ooh. all right so i opened up my light to medium and when I opened up the other ones, they were pretty clean. But this one, this one is so messy. Let me see. So like, look, when I open this one, it's clean. Wait, what is this? Light to medium. Wait, are you guys noticing what I'm noticing? It's clean. Wait, am I tripping? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. A bitch is tripping. Okay, I'm gonna play back the clip. You're gonna see all that product that came out on that wand. Let me tell you, that was light to medium. Look how clean that wand is. So as you guys can see right here, this is shade Vanilla, which was one of the three shades that they sent me. I hope you guys can see on camera, but it definitely pulls more of like a pink undertone, which would be nice for color correcting underneath the eye and also brightening. The middle one here is light which definitely is opposite of this. It is more yellow. And then looking at light to medium, this looks a little bit more neutral, but definitely has yellow undertone. I'm just gonna go in with this wand applicator and just start applying like I normally do. Not super thick and creamy, but you can definitely build that coverage up. So this is my routine with concealer that I like to do. So I'm gonna take a brush. You can definitely use your finger, but I already know I'm not a fan of using my finger to blend it out. So I'm definitely feeling pale, but we're definitely gonna bronze it up. So I'm just taking a smaller concealer brush. This is my Sigma 3D HD Precision brush. I feel like since my foundation's so light, it's really hard to tell that I put concealer on because it looks like it's just all blending, but we'll change that. I've been dying to try this powder. I haven't really heard much on it, but I love the packaging. I'm always up to trying new setting powders. Blurs and Sets Matte Loose Setting Powder. So when I opened it up, there is a little sponge that comes in with it. So I'm definitely going to try that out. Sponge was on top. There is a lid, which I'm never opposed to. So as you guys can see, it's like a net so that'll filter out product. So I'm just going to take my sponge and get rid of any creases under the eyes. I'm just going to go in and take that product out. And a lot of product actually comes through the net. So I'm just going to take a brush and press that excess powder on my forehead area and like T-zone. And kind of just set the rest of the face. It's a nice powder. Definitely mattifies. There's a lot of mattifying going on here. With me personally, I like to, you know, do a dewy foundation, do like a mattifying setting powder just to kind of give good balance to everything. But all in all, I mean, like the complexion looks really nice. Um that powder <laughs> wow hold up so i was complaining about noticing some texture when applying like the foundation a little bit of the concealer when i put that powder on y'all little tur it blurs my skin oh my god 
Alright you guys, so I went back in with some bronzer to add some warmth to the face since the shades were not my exact match, which is perfectly fine. Always make it work when it comes to things like that. I went in with blush, some highlighter. The blush that I used was um, Frat Boy from The Balm Cosmetics. The bronzer I used was MAC Give Me Sun. And then for highlighter, I went in with the Atomic Blonde palette from NARS. And this is an icon, which is this eyeshadow shade right here, but I used it for highlighter. So looking at the primer first, I love the idea. It threw me a little bit when it was a luminous mattifying blur primer. So it's illuminating the skin. It's blurring out any pores or imperfections. And it is also controlling and eliminating any shine or oil on the skin. And I'm like, how does it all do it all in one? I love the idea and concept of a stick application. So looking at their mattifying foundation, as far as this, it is mattifying and it is pretty liquidy which I like the idea. I'm definitely gonna try it, but maybe without the blur primer to see if it does make a difference. So next are the concealers, which I actually pretty liked. Um, I thought it was a squeeze applicator, but when I opened it, it was a wand. Very curious as to why the light to medium when I opened it was gunked with so much product. And then when I put it back in and took it back out, it was pretty much clean, which was pretty trippy as you guys saw. As far as it blending out, I felt like it blended out pretty well. I did use a brush, but then I did go back in with the sponge, which I did like how the sponge smoothed everything out. So the last product that I used was absolutely my favorite out of all the products that I tried for you guys today. It's the Translucent Setting Powder in Medium. It was iffy with how the liquids were setting on my skin. Definitely beyond this video, I'm gonna have to do trial and error with different products. But when I put this powder on, definitely absorbed any shine. It did create a filtered effect over my skin and it definitely transformed what I wasn't liking into something that I did actually like. So there you guys have today's video. I hope you guys truly enjoyed watching me try out a new makeup brand. I'm happy that I found a new favorite product and I'm definitely going to keep on trying all the products but um, the setting powder is definitely my favorite. So if you guys are new to my channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers. My goal by the end of the year is 50. 50,000 subscribers. Um, I'm definitely going to work towards that but hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.